You know, we as a as a cast, we're really lucky. We all get along. We all look after one another. We, on, when we're waiting in between, like before we go filming, like we're off in our room or whatever, we are always doing little silly things. Like we make each other laugh. Sometimes we read to one another. Um, we help each other with auditions if there's anything coming up. Um, we all eat together. We order sushi all the time, and we love our Starbucks. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we've become kind of like a, a little family. And um, I would say the most fun I've had was, you know, I've had the most fun with probably Robert Carlyle, um, Rebecca Mader, who is hilarious, <laughs> Sean McGuire, who makes everyone laugh nonstop. Um, they are the real funnies uh, on the show. Like the real humorous people. Are they, so. are they time for pranks or no pranks? Uh, There's no pranks. No? No, I don't know. We are not a pranking group. Okay. I think the boys prank more than the girls. Okay. We have a mission for next season, so. Yes, so exactly. Tell us about it later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you have taking any, any ideas for pranks, let me know. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Donna. It's a Hi. pleasure to meet you again. Um, I wanted to ask you how difficult was it for you? to play the role of having to do the curse of killing your father as he's the one that you love the most. And you said that you put your feelings into the character to feel her pain. So how did that feel for you? It devastating. It was de devastating. It was the second episode and I was like, this is the second episode. <laughs> I'm still learning who this character is. I was shocked by this decision that she would she was so desperate she wanted this revenge so bad she, she was so vengeful that she would kill her own father I had a really hard time with that but I kept thinking okay she's, she has you can't judge your character when you're playing you can't as the actor you can't judge them you have to try to understand but that's why you see a tear running down her face because it was literally heartbreaking. And um, the best thing that could have come out of the whole show for me, and I think for the character, was in the hundredth episode where she sees her father at the grave site, uh, the graveyard in the underworld, and she gets to say, "I'm sorry." That that was probably my favorite favorite scene that I've ever been able to play in my career because to have that closure for the character, to, to be able to say I'm sorry for things, sometimes you don't get that in life, you know? I mean, we lose people and then sometimes quick, tragically, sometimes whatever, and you never get that opportunity. That was a really big gift. So not just me, but for Regina, because it, 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 it ate up my soul all five seasons that we weren't able to address that. And then when we did, it was like, I thanked Adam and Eddie and said, thank you so much. This was the best scene I've ever, ever have been able to act in. Hi, Lana. I was wondering if you think that Regina will stop doubting herself and think, well, you know, I am good. Because we see throughout the show that she has these good moments and then something bad happens and then she, she doubts. She's like, what, what should I do? Yeah, I think that's part of what makes watching Regina so interesting is that we're gonna see how she deals with that in season six. Yes! How she, you know, why do these things keep happening to me? Is it karmic? Is it because I've done all these terrible things that there's no redemption for me? Or, no, I'm not gonna have those thoughts. No, I am good. And it's just there's this darkness inside and I haven't learned how to deal with it. I think though you're you're gonna get these answers in season six. It's still being developed. Um, hi Lana, I love you. Um, hey. we know by now that the Bravo Academy is signature movie is ripping out a heart and crushing it to dust. Um, the first time you did this, did you how did you feel? And are you used to it by now or is it still weird doing this? I'm so sorry. I, I, could you ask this again? I wasn't sorry. clear. A little slower. Um, thank you. Um, Evil Queen's signature move is ripping out a heart and crushing it to dust. Oh, oh you mean when Regina rips out the Queen's heart and she, yeah. and she crushes it and it turns into dust and then the Evil Queen... Are you used to 
used to doing this and the first time you did it as Regina, was it weird or how did you feel? Yes, okay, so we asked Regina or Orlana, the actor, because both. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm trying to remember for the Evil Queen, the first time she crushed a heart, I believe it was um, when she was studying under Rumble. Yes! yes. And, and then he had another apprentice. Yes! Yes! yes. He was really bad! Yeah. Yes. He had another student. <laughs> And um, and then Regina came from behind and ripped her heart out and crushed it. I think I think she found a lot of satisfaction in that. I think that she proved to herself and to Rumble that she can be a you know a good evil villain, and and this was her first you know proof of it. Lana, the first time I did that was with Graham in the seventh episode. Oh my God. And I remember going, oh my god, Jesus, this is crazy. Like, what am I doing? And they run in and they put this dust in my hand and they're like, just, just crush it and let it fall out of your hands. And it's like, okay. <laughs> all right, I guess I'll do that. Is it gonna get all over my clothes? <laughs> you know? And and um, and we do this. We they, they, someone runs in, they put the dust in our hands. And they, it's all in editing, right? They, so you don't see what we experience. But I thought it was odd. And then I thought, okay, this is all part of the magic on the show. And this is what we'll probably do a lot more. And we have. Hi, uh, Marcus. Hi, Marcus. My question is what's your least or favorite scene in the show? And there's something else I'm going to ask. I'm probably going to get in trouble or get beaten up. But my girlfriend could be here, and I really love this film, and I just want you to know if you can just say, Fabiola Janos, thank you for watching my show. Say her name again. Fabiola Janos. Fa Fabiola Janos, thank you so much for watching the show. Your boyfriend loves you. Um, Do you have a favorite scene in the show? My favorite scene in the show, I just spoke of it, was the scene with my with Regina's father at the graveyard. Getting to say you're sorry. Yes, getting to say sorry. Hi, Regina. I'm Lana. <laughs> 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 um, my question here is quickly. I'm sorry for my English. Is how do you prepare yourself for a scene that has a lot of emotion, like last right, like the one that she was saying goodbye to her dad. And how do you prepare for that scene? And the one when she knew Selena was her sister. That those two episodes were really, really good episodes. Yes. Thank one you. of the best of the season, I see. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so the question was, how do I prepare, prepare right? emotionally? Yeah. So I, a lot of years of training. Uh, you know, I've been acting for over 24 years. I know people don't know that I've been around for a long time. But I, I've been know, studying since I was 16. It's it's just it's in my DNA. You know, it's now it's become such a part of it. But I will say this, and I think this could be helpful for other artists that are you know wanting to be actors or any aspiring artist. I always find that you have to learn how to feel in life and know what those feelings are to allow yourself to to go through it, the, the trying moments, the sad moments, the happiness, the, the crazy moments, but like pay attention to what happens in your body and what it feels like because it's like a, it's like a, you know, a singer or a dancer, you say you book a performance, okay, they said in three months from now you're going to be on stage in Broadway and you're going to be performing in front of thousands of people and you go, okay, great and you go on vacation for three months and you do nothing and you just sleep or you eat or whatever. The day of the performance, how good are you gonna be? Probably not that great. So it's, what my point is that- Training, like Training, practice, and explore it in your life, those feelings and those levels of emotion. And then when you're in front of a camera, it's gonna be a lot easier to emote. Yeah. Thank you. And now